Can you imagine seeing Jeff Bezos on the seat next to you, on the train or the plane? If you do, you must have one pretty vivid imagination. Do you really think that the guy who flew to space on a private rocket would ever be seen on a public plane or, God forbid, train? Of course not. And let's be honest, if your net worth were north of $151 billion, you'd also have some reservations about using any old kind of transport. So can you blame Amazon's founder for preferring to journey in style, surrounded by comfort, luxury, and class? The good thing about his preferences is that he doesn't shy away from showing off his immense wealth and regularly updates the public about his incredible purchases. And while we would probably never have the pleasure of traveling with the retail tycoon, we can have a peek at the fabulous way he goes from place to place. And you can be sure he never travels in anything less than ultimate style and luxury. Cars one could easily imagine Bezos commissioning channels in every city he goes to, so he can cruise around with his yachts. I can almost picture him going to the groceries with his yacht just to buy some potatoes to go with his octopus. As plausible as that may sound, Bezos actually relies on a garage full of luxurious cars for his urban travels. While you can imagine what a $21 million car collection would look like, you can hardly guess which is his favorite car. It's a $2,000 1997 Honda Accord. Bezos has a sentiment for this particular car. It was the first he bought when he became a billionaire in 1997. Despite having $12 billion at the time, he went for the practical rather than the flashy. And to this day, the Honda is his preferred car. In his garage, however, there is a car for every occasion. For an opening ceremony, an elite event, or an audience with the five-dimensional lizards that rule the world, Amazon's CEO would probably go with his $75,000 Lincoln Stretch Limousine. The interior of the car is just as inspiring as the exterior. There are comfortable leather seats, a minibar, and all amenities a high-class limo could offer. If he wants to flex in front of soccer moms, Jeff can always go for his $80,000 Cadillac Escalade. The car that has become synonymous with the elite and often finds a place in music videos of people who claim that are successful but can only afford to rent the car for a couple of hours. Bezos' garage has no shortage of ultra-luxurious vehicles. If you ever have the chance to visit this museum of stunning cars, you can see a slick Mercedes-Benz S450 worth $94,000, a $115,000 Range Rover Sport SUV as well as several unique sports models that few people in this world can afford. Among them is the $3 million Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio, from which only six cars were ever produced. Could someone really call themselves a billionaire if they don't have a Bugatti Veyron in their garage? Bezos shouldn't lose sleep over this question, as he is the proud owner of a $3.4 million car of this model. That, however, is not the crown jewel of his collection. Neither is the $4 million W Motors Lycan Hypersport, nor the Koenigsegg CCXR Trevita, which cost Bezos $4.8 million. The true creme de la creme of the collection is Bezos's Lamborghini Veneno, which costs around $5 million. The car is famous for many things, but mostly for being the most expensive car on the market. The vehicle is an ultra-luxurious sports car, of which there are only four in the entire world. Now that's how a true billionaire should go to pick up his laundry, although there isn't much space in the car to put it in if you ask me. While other billionaires have one ultra-luxurious superyacht to travel by, Jeff Bezos must have found this a bit modest. Or he might have been captivated by the glory of the British Navy in their heyday. Anyway, Bezos obviously is determined to be the king of the seven seas, as he owns a whole fleet of ultra-luxurious yachts, with a combined price tag well above $1 billion. The Flying Fox, without a doubt, is the flagman ship of Bezos' fleet. This ultra-luxurious superyacht was commissioned in 2019 and was built by the famous German yacht designer company Lursen. The 446-foot-long leisure cruiser cost Bezos a cool $400 million, which in all honesty is probably what he keeps in his change jar. With its smooth design, the ship combines both aggressive lines and an unmistakable class. 
making it truly a piece of engineering art. To make sure no one would ever think that a beggar owns this vessel, the Flying Fox has two helidecks because Bezos might want to bring his luggage on a separate chopper. The boat can accommodate 25 guests in an ultra-luxurious setting. All living spaces, including the 11 cabins, are lavishly decorated with designer furniture, golden elements, and genuine art pieces. In addition, the yacht accommodates a 400-square-foot spa center with retracting rooftop, which allows guests to enjoy some natural vitamin D while being treated like gods on Mount Olympus. On board, of course, there is a private cinema with ultra-luxurious and comfortable seats and top-of-the-line equipment and sound. I wonder if Bezos subscribed to Amazon Prime. Finally, when Jeff gets bored of being treated like a god, he can take one of his many toys on board, such as jet skis, water skis, sea bob kayak, scuba diving equipment, and paddle boards. Bezos even offers to rent this heaven floating across the ocean for what is essentially spare change. A week on the boat would cost you around $3 million. The Flying Fox, however, is not even Amazon owner's most luxurious yacht. Bezos's prized possession is actually Ocean Co. Y721, which admittedly is not very imaginative when it comes to its name. The ship is 417 feet long and custom designed to accommodate all of Jeff's desires. This floating palace may be a bit smaller than the Flying Fox, but it certainly is not cheaper. The boat, which desperately needs a new name, costs around 500 million. And along with being ultra luxurious, it will be the most eco-friendly yacht a billionaire has ever bought. Ocean Co. Y721 is a sailing yacht with three masts, allowing the enormous vessel to cross the ocean without using any fuel. Being green, as one frog became famous for saying, ain't easy. And Bezos had to make some pretty hard cuts on his new yacht. For example, he would be able to accommodate only 18 guests in a mega-luxurious setting. Furthermore, the new boat, which will hit the waves any day now, will have only one master bedroom, two VIP suites, and several double guest cabins. The hardest hit for Bezos, however, without a doubt, is that his new yacht would feature only one helideck one pool and a smaller cinema. What can I say? We all need to sacrifice in the effort to save our planet. To finish off, Bezos has purchased several additional smaller yachts and another bigger one for a service yacht. While it pales in comparison to the Flying Fox and the Ocean Co. Y721, the service yacht is still much better equipped than most other yachts worldwide. It still has some extraordinary features as well as its own helideck. While the waves sound like fun, traveling via yachts can be time-consuming and a businessman like Bezos definitely needs to get places as fast as possible. Of course, the solution is obvious, flying. While flying coach is always on the table, Amazon's owner prefers to keep that for special occasions and usually travels with his ultra-luxurious and extremely expensive private jets. Yes, you heard that right. Bezos actually has two top-of-the-line Gulfstream G650 ER customized to fit Amazon CEO's high demands. Jeff had to pay approximately $150 million to have these two engineering masterpieces in his hangar. Each plane offers four separate living areas for guest entertainment. The interior is spacious thanks to the minimalistic vibe. The 16 abnormally large oval windows also help to make the plane seem much bigger on the inside, while at the same time, it offers one truly stunning view of the Earth below. All seats on these ultra-luxurious private planes can become comfortable beds for longer travels, and the G650ER can definitely deliver log flights. Its range is one of the highest of any non-military aircraft. It can cover 8,630 miles without needing to refuel which is more than a quarter of the Earth's circumference at the equator. Bezos's jets can accommodate up to 19 guests without sacrificing the unparalleled pampering they will be subjected to during the flight. Both planes are equipped with high-tech gadgets and Wi-Fi, so the Amazon CEO can always micromanage the business, no matter where he's going. The best feature of these private jets, however, is the luxurious kitchen where the flight attendants can prepare delicious meals and drinks for Bezos and his guests. 
The Amazon owner is well known for being weird with his breakfast, preferring octopus over the traditional English breakfast. So these kitchens have probably seen more than one sumptuous dish. I'm sure you'll sleep much easier tonight knowing one more billionaire is not compromising with their food preferences. Well, you can probably relax now, knowing that Jeff Bezos won't be seen using public transport anytime soon. If anything, I wouldn't be surprised if he soon makes space travel his main choice of going around the world. And while we're marveling at Amazon C, CEO's means of transportation, let me know which one you would like to try out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch my other video on how Vladimir Putin travels. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.